In the year 1492, Christopher Columbus embarked on a historic journey that would forever alter the course of history. He discovered lands previously unknown to the Western world, and within a mere two decades, the conquest of these newfound lands was in rapid progress. But how did the Spanish conquistadors achieve such rapid success? The answer lay, in large part, within their formidable armor and weaponry. The Spanish settlers who ventured into the New World were not your typical farmers or craftsmen. Instead, they were a breed of soldiers, adventurers, and mercenaries who sought to amass wealth quickly. When they encountered indigenous communities, their modus operandi was often brutal. They attacked, enslaved, and plundered any treasures such as gold, silver, or pearls that the natives possessed. The Caribbean islands, notably Cuba and Hispaniola, bore witness to the devastating raids of Spanish conquistadors between 1494 and 1515, a brutal prelude to their relentless march onto the mainland. Yet it was the conquests of the mighty Aztec and Inca empires that etched the conquistadors' names into the annals of history. In Central America and the Andes Mountains of South America, Hernán Cortés in Mexico, 1525, and Francisco Pizarro in Peru, 1532, commanded relatively small forces, with Cortés leading around 600 men and Pizarro initially mustering a mere 160. Remarkably, these limited numbers managed to vanquish much larger native armies. The conquistadors' success in battle hinged on the nature of their weaponry and armor. There were two distinct types of Spanish conquistadors, the horsemen or cavalry, and the foot soldiers or infantry. In the heat of battle, it was typically the cavalry who held the upper hand. Those who could afford it invested in horses, knowing it would pay dividends in future conquests. In close combat, a mounted conquistador would draw his sword, a Spanish steel blade about three feet in length, narrow and sharpened on both sides. Toledo, a Spanish city renowned for arms and armor production, crafted some of the world's finest steel swords. So coveted was this weapon that, for a time, indigenous people were prohibited from possessing one. For foot soldiers, an array of weapons was available. Despite common misconceptions, firearms did not solely seal the fate of the New World natives. Some Spanish soldiers wielded arquebuses, early muskets effective against single opponents, but sluggish to load, cumbersome, and reliant on a lit wick. These weapons were most effective for sowing fear among indigenous soldiers who believed the Spanish could conjure thunder. Crossbows, another European weapon designed to pierce armor, found limited use against the lightly armored and agile natives. While some conquistadors employed crossbows, they were slow to reload, prone to breaking, and less common as the conquest progressed. In terms of protection, Spanish armor was among the world's finest, primarily crafted in Toledo. Clad head to foot in a steel shell, conquistadors appeared nearly invulnerable to native adversaries. In Europe, armored knights had dominated battlefields for centuries, and weapons like the arquebus and crossbow were devised specifically to penetrate armor. Indigenous peoples lacked such weaponry, making it exceedingly difficult to inflict harm on a fully armored conquistador. Even vulnerable body parts like elbows and shoulders were shielded by overlapping plates. Later in the conquest, some conquistadors switched to lighter chainmail, equally effective against native attacks. In stark contrast, indigenous people possessed no effective countermeasures against the conquistadors' advanced weaponry and armor. At the time of the conquest, most native cultures in North and South America wielded weapons that fell somewhere between the Stone Age and the Bronze Age. Foot soldiers relied on heavy clubs, maces, stone or bronze-headed weapons, rudimentary stone axes or spiked clubs. While these weapons could inflict bruises, they rarely caused significant harm through the conquistador's formidable armor. In terms of ranged weapons, some South American cultures developed bows and arrows, but they struggled to pierce armor. Other cultures employed slings, hurling stones with tremendous force, while Aztec warriors utilized the atlatl, a device for launching javelins or darts at high velocity. 
Despite their efforts, these indigenous weapons paled in comparison to the steel-clad conquistadors. However, attributing the Spanish conquest's success solely to superior arms and armor would be incomplete. The conquistadors received a significant assist from previously unknown diseases which ravaged the native populations. Smallpox and other ailments introduced by the Spanish claimed millions of lives, weakening indigenous societies. Furthermore, luck played its part. The Spanish chose opportune moments for their invasions, such as their arrival in the Inca Empire amidst a brutal civil war between brothers Huascar and Atahualpa in 1532. The Aztec Empire was also vulnerable, as they faced widespread disdain among their subjects. 